Hello and welcome to the IAA Mobility event in Munich in Germany. We're checking out the latest tech trends driving the motor industry now and into the future. Some of the biggest names in car making and technology are here, showing off their new designs and innovations. With mobility under increasing pressure to become cleaner and greener, the buzzwords are smart and sustainable. We can feel there is a strong climate pressure more than ever, so we can see everywhere electric cars. The hot topic this year also is about digital. We can see some companies coming from consumer electronics, such as LG, uh, we have Samsung. We can feel that it's all about connectivity, 5G, uh, the cloud, so we'll be connected to the home, connected to the office. Japanese company Seki Sui makes materials for different industries worldwide, including mobility. It's been in Europe for 60 years and supplying the European automotive market since the 1980s. The firm says 75% of today's cars in Europe are equipped with its technologies. Components for glass are a big focus. This concept car showing off the windows of tomorrow. By touch switching, then the glass can turn to transparent and also back to the privacy glass. Also from the front door, we also integrate it for the car because there are no door handle in the car anymore. So we put into the mobile access or also for the touch function with icon display on the glass. The latest in-car information technologies are also being showcased by exhibitors here in Munich. Seki Sui is focusing on facilitating next-generation displays with content visible across entire windscreens. Like a navigation or mobile phone or radio or clock, that kind of information we can bring into the glass. In case of the driving, maybe we can put into the full window as a cinema screen and in case of the emergency or in case of the manual driving, they just disappear from the screen, then back into the normal glass. Seki Sui already supports today's windscreen technologies. Here it is manufacturing hub in the Netherlands. It makes a special film for head-up displays, which projects information onto the glass. One of the issues with a head-up display is a blurred image. So with our film, one of them is wedge-shaped, so when interlayered inside of the glass, it ensures the right angle for a super clear view from driver position for the information. This demonstration car is kitted out with the wedge-shaped film, and we're taking it for a test drive. I can see the speed limit, I can see my speed. I don't have to bring my eye here to the, to the central display. I just can keep it constantly on the road, so if anything pops up, like somebody on a bicycle or pedestrian, I can immediately respond. So it's much more safe to constantly keep the eye on the road. As well as boosting safety, the film inside the windscreen also has noise and heat blocking features. So while driving, you have the noise from the wind, from the tires, uh, from the engine, and um, the noise blocking film ensures that it's much quieter inside of the vehicle, up to five decibel more quiet. On top of that, we can also, in the same film, add uh, heat blocking uh, particles to ensure it's more cool inside of the car. So you have less usage of the air conditioning. Back at the IAA Mobility event in Munich, the challenge now for car makers is staying ahead of the curve and remaining relevant. It's like a Formula One race, you know, because uh, they have to take into account everything at the same time. You have the digital side, you have electricity, you have autonomous driving, but I'm confident, you know, they've been there for one century, and I think for another hundred years, they will still be there.